Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and I'm going to help get you started with Lord of the Rings Online in IS Boxer. So for starters, let's go down to the Inner Space menu and make sure we have Lord of the Rings Online in the list here. Since we don't, use Add Game, and then drag the desktop shortcut to this box. Click OK, and now we've got Lord of the Rings Online in our menu. Now, back in IS Boxer and Wizards, set up using the Quick Setup Wizard. Which game would you like to play? Let's pick Lord of the Rings Online. Um, it does not automatically detect our characters from the game in this uh, uh, for Lord of the Rings Online, um, but for other games it will. So we can just add in our character information real quick. I'm just putting in Lotro 2, Lotro 3, and so on for the character names, but um, if you're Later on, if you're going to use the Pro configuration, then it may help to use the actual character names because you'll set up different um, abilities and things based on the characters that you have in your team. And you can play, um, for example, your Rune Keepers along with your Guardians or whatever classes you've got. I, I have no idea. Alright, so choose a name for your team, something simple. I'm just going to name it Lotro5. Um, under the window layout, there's lots of different examples that you can use for your team. Uh, based on what you got. So I'm going to use this one for this tutorial. And on the CPU strategy page, um, down here is the most important part. Uh, it's just different load balancing options for your CPUs. And it explains to you um, how many slots each CPU core has assigned to it. That's game instances. And how many cores each of the game instances is actually using. So you can see here that I've got each of my five windows would be using two CPU cores for this particular strategy. Now down here, select all CPUs with every window is another popular strategy. I'm going to go ahead and use this one for this video. Um, and as you can see that it's got all of the cores assigned to every window, um, eight cores per slot, and five slots on every core. That's all five game windows every core. So click Next. Um, on this page is this configuration style. Um, there's lots of different options you can play with, but you can leave it default. Now, to get started with this game, you're going to want to use either MMO Standard or MMO Pro. MMO Pro is for IS Boxer veterans. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the standard configuration for this one. Um, there's ad advanced options that you can play with. Um, we're not going to go over those with this video. Uh, and let's see here, we'll get started. I'll go broadcasting mode. I'm going to set my hotkey to something special on my keyboard. Um, a Logitech G510 keyboard here. I use the MR key. And um, activate next window is another popular hotkey to set on here. Uh, I'll set mine control of X, I guess. And then um, the important part really on this page is down here. The standard MMO combat broadcasting of 1 through equals. Now you have two options if you decide to have this default broadcasting. You have an overlay for your action bar or the old, the old way uh, with invisible key maps. Those are just hotkeys with no visible menu that would go over your action bar. Now the, the overlay you can actually click. Uh, so if you're a clicker, you want to use the menu instead of just the hotkeys. So on game key bindings, this is important for Lord of the Rings Online. Um, this is the targeting table which tells us uh, which key each guy needs to press to target each of the other guys. Now I'm going to invite my characters in the right order. They're going to be invited and join the group um, in the order that I put them in the IS box or character set. That means this is easy to set up. We can just click autofill and it's automatically going to be the right key combination for each guy. It's a different uh, key in each window so uh, this just tells you which which guy needs to press which button to target each other guy. Now that's going to be used in order to follow and assist. So up here, uh, I'm going to set, I already have my follow target and assist uh, target keys set in the game. This is actually called follow selection and I think assist select, maybe it's just called assist. And then interact with target is use selection. So my use selection in the in Lord of the Rings Online is set to U. My assist is F, and my follow target in the game is Alt F. So these are the hotkeys that, that are set up in the game under key bindings 
um, and I'll go. I'll show you that when I log into the game. So down here, don't worry about this. This is for other games that um, we can set up per character targeting macros, um, and we don't need to do that for Lord of the Rings So click finish. Uh, since we've got all this set up, I'll show you real quickly uh, what we set up in our key maps. Um, the non-combat key map is where we've got our follow and assist hotkeys. They're two steps, uh, and it's going to happen when you press and release your hotkey. So when I press Alt F, it's going to target my guy, and when I release Alt F, it's going to follow my guy. Um, and the same for the, the way the assist works. Now in this game, you can set it up so that um, each of the guys has an assist button for each of the other slots, or for each, uh, for each group member. But it's a little bit complicated to set up, and this way is, is the hands down easiest. Now, if you want to be able to press a hotkey to make all of your guys use use selection, um, that's also known as interact with target. I'm going to set my hotkey for that to Alt U. Um, so if I press Alt U, it's going to send U to all my guys, and they will try to interact with whatever they've got selected for the game. Okay, under combat, this one is going to be empty right here because we chose the menu option during the quick setup wizard. Now. Under map keys, we can right click that and use the map key wizard if you want to set up any hotkeys. Like a straight key broadcast would be if you want to press Q and send Q to all the other windows. Um, a key remap is if you want to press Q and send shift key or some, some other key that you, you're not pressing. That's why it's called a remap. And the other one you might like is the round robin key broadcast. Um, and that's where if you want to press Q and have it go to just one window at a time, um, like maybe you have a stun button and you don't want every everyone over your guys to use that stun at the same time because it'd be a waste. So you use round robin key broadcast to use it only one window at a time. You keep pressing it and it goes to a different window. And uh, straight key broadcast plus click, that's that's another one that's it's going to be kind of rarely used. But if the game has a ability or something that you need to click after you start casting, like uh, to, throw, or to throw something at the ground or to cast an area effect spell that, that maybe is targeted beneath uh, whatever monster you choose. Um, so you use straight key broadcast plus click for that. Um, I'm not going to set up any of those for right now. Just the basic setup does not need any of those. Um, under always on, you've got your toggle formations menu. I'll show you that once we get into the game. Uh, there's our next window hotkey that I set up. Um, activate repeat with my custom hotkey. Activate Maps is going to turn on and off the menu hotkeys and the uh, combat and non-combat key maps. So, under Menus, we've got the standard menu, and uh, we'll see that once we get into the game. Um, and this is where that's set up. You don't need to worry about most of these things, but the button width and height and the button margin, we're going to be adjusting those once we get into the game uh, to make the action bar or to make the menu fit right over our Lord of the Rings Online action bar, the hot bar, whatever it's called, quick slot bar. Okay, so that's about it. Under character sets, I'm going to select this option here, mute background game window audio and unmute foreground window audio. And what that's going to do, that's going to let us hear only one window at a time. Um, that's not on by default. So export, I use the hotkey control E, but you can do that from here. Um, under File, Export All to Interspace, and what that's going to do is going to save all these settings um, and so that they'll be activated in Interspace or um, into the game once we're in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the team, and we'll come back uh, in just a minute here uh, once I get everything up. See you in a minute. All right, we're back. It's almost like I never left. All right, so I've got the game windows up. After I launched my team, each of the patches came up. I put in my password for each one. And I logged in, and here we are. Okay, so welcome to IS Boxer 41, and we've got this message about some see-through green squares, which we see right here. And it, this message explains that you're only going to see it once, and explains what to do about these green squares. So you press Control Shift Alt G, as it says up here, and that'll let you move these menus around. These are our standard menus and the toggle menu. Um, and when you move them around, you can click the Sync Visible Menu Positions, or there's a Sync button on each one, and that puts it in the same spot in each window um, when you click that. And the Save All Menu Positions will save it so that the next time you launch your team, it'll come back up in that spot. 
So once we get into the game, I'll, I'll position that and then I'll save it and um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and close this window because I've already let you read it. And uh, we'll get started. Each of my windows already has the guy or the right guy selected, so I'm going to just turn on broadcasting. That's your Shift Alt R or my MR key, um, or you can press the icon right here that we moved. So um, enter Middle Earth. All right. All right. Got all my guys into the game, and we can start moving things around now. Turn off broadcasting. You usually want to have key maps on and broadcasting off. Um, control Shift Alt G again to bring up the menu. And you can see that this is a little bit too big for our actual action bar here. So I'm going to go back in IS Boxer. Let me drag that over here. Okay, and under uh, Menus Standard, we're going to set up the menu template standard that I showed you. And I believe this is going to be one pixel margin. That's the space between the buttons. And the button width and height, I think, is about 34. So once you do that, export to inner space again. And then back in the game, uh, here's our menu again. I didn't save it. so OK, and that fits right over my action bar. OK, sync and save. Now the now this is pretty much out of the way. We can just uh, we can click it or use it if we need to, but as you can see, it's not cluttering up the screen anywhere else, and it just kind of stays out of the way. But it gives us some feedback when we're pressing buttons. Like if I hold down the four button, you can see it um, highlighting each of the slots there. So if we want to actually do something, um, I can turn on broadcasting and and make each of the guys target themselves with F1, and then I'll turn broadcasting off because this is done with the menu. Uh, just click on one or three or whatever it is. Three is our heel. There we go. Or we can just press the three button and it does the same thing. So uh, you can see that that worked. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and invite my guys to the group so we can check out the auto follow and assist. So I'm going to go ahead and invite them in the right order here. Right. And this is, you're seeing them in the order that I have them in the slots. So the guy I'm planning right now is in slot one, and Stout Spark is slot two, and slot three, slot four, slot five. And that, that's the same as the windows down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to accept. Uh, this guy didn't get his invite. Oh, I see. Okay, so we have to kind of do them one at a time, I guess. Anyway, once you uh, get them all into your fellowship, then uh, because of the way I logged them in and, and we are inviting them in the order that they're in the screen here, that's going to match up exactly with the targeting table that we set up uh, at the beginning. Now, I told you before that I've got my hotkeys already set up so I'll show you those real quick under key mapping you can use the search box if you want type in follow and here we've got follow selection is set to alt F just double check that it's that in every single window here and if you're going to change the key binding you should turn off key maps so that your key maps don't change what uh, keys are being sent uh, okay so then that's follow then there's assist uh, which is set to F in every window and um, and of course use selection is set to you in every window so that's all good and now in order to follow all I should have to do is press alt F because that's the hotkey that was set up in IS boxer to make everybody follow uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that key maps um, the hotkeys are on press alt F and everybody follows me just like we expected so that's good um, and now we'll go up and use this dude real quick, this provisioner. Follow me, guys. All right. Now we press Alt A to assist. Um, and then they should all take. Uh, they all targeted him. You can see they've got the targeting ring. And Alt U is the hotkey that I set up to make them all um, interact or use the selection. So Alt U, um, it opened up 
the merchant window on all of them. That's good. Um, sometimes with this game, when you open up a merchant window, merchant window like that, um, the game refuses to uh, do them all at once. So you might have to hit the button more than once uh, to get the game to unlock that merchant for you to use. So there's that, and the only thing left to show you is to go kill something. So let's go uh, find something to attack. So I'll just have them do this one real quick. Um, click it, tell them to assist. They've all got it targeted. We can run up, and what is this, arranged? Uh, press 1, and everybody shoots, and we shoot again. Where are we going? Shoot them. Boom. All right. And that's that's basically all you need to know in order to get started um, multi-boxing Lord of the Rings Online with IS Boxer. Boom. Boom. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, if you're playing multiple classes and you've, you're using this default system of 1 through equals, and it might help to have similar abilities on, on similar numbers. Um, you can also use the Pro configuration system. It's a little bit more difficult to set up, it's a little more involved, um, but if you're playing a lot, uh, lots of different classes, different combinations of, of guys, then it will be very helpful um, for you to get like conjunctions or whatever they're called in this game, fellowship maneuvers, uh, to get those set up and working correctly, things like that. Boom. And the pro setup will let you uh, take something like instead of having a button for each individual ability, um, we'll have a DPS button that'll tell each of the guys to do whichever their DPS is, or um, a stun button, and that'll have like your different classes use their individual um, abilities, and depending on how you have it configured in that window. So if you have any questions, come on down to the IS Boxer chat room, um, the IS Boxer forums. This is really simple to get started um, as you can see that's we didn't really do a whole lot but I explained lots of things to you and hopefully that's enough to get you started so thanks guys see you next time and um, yeah good luck multi-boxing Lord of the Rings online